Because we is back once again with another reaction video, bruh. And today, I'm coming back with another reaction for y'all heads, man. And hey, hey, we got another lit video to do, man. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Code Code. Here I do daily reactions each and every day. So hit me up with some more videos and some more reactions to do. And I will definitely do that, man. But today, we got most paranormal place on earth. This video is by the Infographic Show. So I think I reacted to one of his videos once before. Um, but we're going we're gonna to see what this video is about, man. Most paranormal place on earth. Now, I don't mess with paranormal activity stuff. But I've seen the movie, but I'm not really I'm not really fond of it, man. But we got, we got to see what's going on in this video right here, right now. So without further ado, go down, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get it. In 1994, Terry Sherman purchased his business in Utah to raise cattle. By the very next year, the Sherman family would be haunted by an alien presence, witness mutilations, and be stalked by an animated video. This area would later become known as Skinwalker Ranch and is now considered one of the most paranormal places on Earth. The Shermans lived relatively peacefully for their true story on the ranch. Let me know if this is a true story. Terry Sherman, his wife, Gwen Sherman, and their child would all have their first brush with an extraterrestrial presence in 1995. And it started off relatively hard with UFOs being spotted in the skies. much more sinister. The UFO sightings were just the beginning of what became a bloody series of deaths and mutilations at Skywalker Ranch. The most common UFO sightings by the family were still about to change. Terry Sherman, his wife, Gwen Sherman, and their child would all have their first brush with an extraterrestrial presence in 1995. And it started off relatively harmless with UFOs being spotted in the skies. But the encounters would soon turn into something much more sinister. The UFO sightings were just the beginning of what became a bloody series of deaths and mutilations at the Skinwalker Ranch. The most common take over UFO sightings by the family were small box shaped vehicles that glowed white and an approximately 40 foot long vehicle that hovered in the sky and a mothership that was reported to be the size of several football fields. Dang. One particularly unimaginable experience happened when Gwen Sherman was driving home late one night. She spotted lights in the sky in the rear view mirror. Gwen continued on glancing back every now and then to figure out what was following. Then the lights began to pick up speed. Gwen pushed, pushed the accelerator to the floor, oh, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, yeah, was chasing her. She whipped the car down the driveway, driveway to her house when she stopped and looked in the sky behind her, and the lights, lights were gone. gone. Was gone. As time, time went on, the paranormal experiences came out of the sky and landed, landed much closer to home. home. While, While working, working on the ranch, the family found, found three locations where grass had been flattened into circles without any explanation as to why. Uh, it's, Each it's instance was about a feet in diameter. The landing marks were observed, were observed from above. above. They seemed to be laid out in a triangle. The family also found, found several holes that seemed to have appeared overnight. overnight. Each was three feet wide and a couple of feet deep. The Shermans didn't have an explanation for the strange circles they were encountering and had no idea what they meant. That, that was until the mutilation started occurring. Mm. As, As the paranormal, paranormal experiences became more common, common, the Sherman, the Sherman family, family started to become more They, they tried recording and photographing the phenomenon, phenomenon but had little, little success. success. Then so things let me get this right. This family, this this family on this barn is experiencing deaths of paranormal activity, extraterrestrials, extra of, of aliens, paranormal activity, aliens. They so basically they're invisible. You can't really see them properly. Of these aliens, so they leave near. They're leaving these markings and stuff, and nobody even catching them. To get yeah, much, much more creepy. One, One April, April night in 1995, Terry Sherman left his house to check on a cow that was days away from giving birth. birth. Uh -oh. As, As he, he approached the field, field he noticed some strange alien lights near where the pregnant, where the pregnant cow was located. located. At the time, he thought the lights might have been, been from his neighbor's kids riding their four wheelers around, or an RV that had been parked in the field. But he couldn't have been more wrong. The lights, the lights began, began to rise 50, 50 feet into the air. air. Terry, Terry ran toward, toward the field, trying, trying to get a better look at what the lights, lights were. He reached the spot where the UFO, UFO had been moments before. before. It was it there that Terry Sherman found, found the first mutilated cow in his ranch. ranch. The cow had a hole, hole bored into the center of its left eye. eye. But other than that, it seemed the dead cow was untouched. Upon further inspection, Terry found no blood seeping from the wound in the eye, or anywhere else on the cow's body for that matter. It was as if whatever killed the cow had sucked out its insides from the hole in its eye. Terry searched the surrounding area for footprints and signs of a predator, but could find nothing. He believed whatever he had seen in the sky might have had something to do with the alien technology. This would not be the last instance of the Sherman cattle being targeted by something paranormal. 
Not long after, after this first mutilation, mutilation another, another cow was found with a hole in its left eye. eye. However, However, whatever this cow had encountered had taken things a step further. Upon inspection, Terry Sherman found that there was also a six-inch hole carved around the cow's rectum. This is when he noticed another connection between the two mutilated cows. They both had a chemical smell surrounding them, as if they'd been experimented on in a lab. As the year progressed, more cows disappeared, some without a trace. It was winter, and the Shermans were doing their rounds and couldn't locate one of their cows. There, there was, was snow on the field. So Guys, I don't know if this is a true story. How keeping that a be if it's a true story? Are, they, are these true events that have actually occurred back in 95? Have these zombies, UFO, have these zombie apocalyptic aliens, you want to call them, would you rather call them? You know, like, have they actually taken these cows away and, like, used them for experiments? Like, what are they using experiments for? I don't know. I don't know. Next thing you know, it's gonna be cows. It's gonna be. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Terry <laughs> followed the prints of the missing cow. The prints stopped at the, the edge, edge of one of the fields near some trees. trees. But the strange thing was, there, there was no sign of what happened to the cow. It, it seemed as if the animal, animal had been lifted right, right off the ground where the tracks stopped. stopped. Then Terry showed you know what you guys think, man, what's gonna happen if they tilt his head back to the experiment with them. You think it's gonna be a certain back in return? Broken branches leading through the tree canopy and into the sky above. It was as if something in the sky had blasted very interesting, man. Very, very interesting to get to the cow below. The mysterious force had then picked the cow up off the ground and carried it away. At this point, the Shermans were really scared. If one of them was taking their cow, they shaking in their boots. Then, there would be nothing to be scared to stop. Just imagine their situation. Imagine, their situation. imagine what would you, guys, what would, you would be shaking too if you were, if you had come across all of these things that have been, all of these things that are, that's occurring, like, in your, in your town, in your farm. That the cows is disappearing, you got holes in cows' eyes, their insides is just completely dismantled and gone. Like, it's completely diminished. Like, the worst is yet to come. come. A, A final, final dead cow was found by the Shermans. A final dead cow lay in the snow not too far from where the other cows seemed to be lifted off the ground. ground. When the child and his father and they examined the body, a six inch wide, 18 inch deep hole was found in the backside of the animal. animal. There was, there was no, no blood or innards in the snow surrounding the corpse, corpse just, just a circular hole that had been bored straight into the cow's rectum. When, when Terry took, took a moment to examine the area around him, he noticed the same chemical smells with, with the previous cow mutilations. He looked up into the trees and saw that the branches had been severed and twigged. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is going on with this video? What is this all about? The cow was circled the path. Authorities were brought to this the most paranormal place on earth. Were eventually chopped up to death by predatory animals. But the lack of blood and strange holes poured into the cows did not seem to fit the profile of an animal attack. Many believe there was some type of extraterrestrial presence on the Sherman Ranch. But there may have been something else, something much worse. Extraterrestrial presence on the Sherman Ranch hurt the Sherman family, and this time it scared them so badly they ended up selling their land. They sold the land. This experience that would eventually give the farm its current name. Skinwalker Ranch. Ranch. Skin it was late, late at night and Terry Sherman was checking on his livestock. He, he had brought his dogs, dogs with him most likely because, because going anywhere on the ranch late at night was a little nerve wracking. Suddenly the dogs dog began to growl and yeah. yip. Yeah. Terry, Terry pointed his flashlight, flashlight in the direction the canines, canines were looking. looking. In the tree line, he could make out the shape of a creature. It looked like a wolf, but it was much too large. Terry estimated the creature to be three times the size of a normal wolf with eyes that glowed blood red. Terry lifted, lifted the rifle, rifle he was carrying and shot three rounds, rounds to the animal. It was, it was unfazed. The, the wolf-like -like creature, creature glared at Terry and then oh disappeared into the tree line. <laughs> the dogs <laughs> barked wildly, but they did not pursue. It's believed that the creature wasn't an alien, a science experiment got wrong, or a mutant wolf, but something from ancient Native American lore. The creature that Terry Sherman saw that night on his ranch might have been a skinwalker. A skinwalker is a shape-shifting entity that comes from the legends of the Navajo people. It is interesting to note that although a skinwalker ranch sits on land that once belonged to the Ute people, the Navajo nation is nearby, and their legend skinwalkers can shapeshift. They're also depicted as werewolf-like creatures, but can transform into anything they wish. There are commonalities between skinwalker sightings today and the Navajo legends of old. Although the skinwalker can shapeshift, the creature tends to be slightly deformed when it manifests itself. The skinwalker is also said to have red or orange eyes that pierce through the darkness. So the the characteristics are reminiscent of the creature Terry Sherman saw the night he was out with his dogs. The Navajo skinwalkers don't necessarily need to be part wolf, but it's a common theme. 
The idea of the skinwalker itself is actually derived from the Navajo term, yi na lushi. This translates to, by means of it, it goes on all fours. Some Navajo believe that skinwalkers are the evil children of a corrupted medicine man who abused the magic of his people. Others believe mm. that people who have committed terrible crimes or taboos against the members of their tribe are turned into skinwalkers as punishment. There is no hard evidence to support the claims made by the Sherman family other than the reports on the mutilation of their livestock. Yeah. But many believe there was a lot more going on at the Skinwalker Ranch than meets the eye. In fact, once the ranch was sold, more and more people came forward with accounts of paranormal experiences they had on or near the ranch. When researchers looked further into the paranormal activity in the area, they found it could be traced all the way back to the first European explorers in the region. It's claimed that in 1776, a Franciscan missionary named Sylvester Velez de Escalante spotted fireballs in the night sky when camped near Skinwalker Ranch. Many mm. people have passed down oral histories of skinwalkers and paranormal entities going back to times long before Europeans ever arrived on the continent. Wow. It would seem there are a couple of different ideas on what has actually been witnessed at Skinwalker Ranch. Many in the area claim to have seen UFOs. But, but others claim there are creatures that don't seem to be extraterrestrial, but something much scarier and perhaps, perhaps human-made. Eventually, Eventually, the Sherman sold the ranch to Robert Bigelow, who made his fortune in the real estate and hotel business. He was always interested in the paranormal, so he started the National Institute for Discovery Science. Basically, this was a privately funded research organization that conducted investigations on paranormal events, fringe science, and UFO sightings. Now, now that Bigelow owned Skinwalker, Skinwalker Ranch, Ranch, he could send his investigators there to research the paranormal activity that was claimed to be occurring in the area. In, in March of 1997, 1997, one of the researchers working for the National Institute for Discovery Science spotted a large, deformed, human-looking creature in the trees on the ranch. This creature seemed to be watching the researchers. It had piercing yellow eyes that never blinked. And when one of the researchers shot the creature with his rifle, it didn't seem to harm the thing, but it did scare it away. Upon investigating, investigating the area around the tree that the creature was spotted in, the team found a strange-looking footprint. They, they described the track, track as being a single large print, print in the snow with two sharp claws protruding from the rear. Their conclusion was that the print almost looked like a bird of prey, prey maybe a raptor, raptor print, print, but huge, and from the depth of the print, from a very heavy creature. Paranormal investigations are still ongoing at Skinwalker Ranch and trying to make sense of all the experiences people have had in the area over the years. There is no definitive evidence that the land there was visited by aliens, skinwalkers, or any other creatures, but investigators are still trying to prove that Skinwalker Ranch is one of the most paranormal places on Earth. Yeah. Now watch Catholic Church, most terrifying ghost stories. Or watch the most paranormal place, dude. Oh my God. They never knew. Like, that's creepy, dude. That's so crazy. Like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, down below in the comments if you guys are brand new welcome to the channel man uh, that was very interesting man i like that video the most paranormal place on earth skinwalker ranch anyways hope you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction i do daily reactions each and every day so don't be afraid to just leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos um my name is coco and yeah hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day leave a like and uh subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video